Let us try to debug a standard T-code ME21N or ME23N or ME22N, uh, 23N and see what we can do with the debugging. So I'll, I'll just open one sample, okay, PO, I'll go into change mode and I'll just try to change some sort text and then I can do a slash s because that is the preferred method of debugging in actual projects. Now I'll try to hit a save button and try to see what we can, what is available for us. So I just hit the save button. Now it takes me to the process. So I'll just close this guy and try to see what happened. So it, we ran the transaction, it went to PAI means process after input means you, you gave the PO number and then it started processing after you input the PO number. So and then some module executed, then the event start of event happened. There is a function there, then some send method, then call screen. This is the process after encode screen. So I may not want to go and debug each and everything. So then what I'll do, I'll do press 7. So it gives me here some messages. I'll say edit and then it comes out. So you were not able to do much in this screen. Okay, so let's try to debug one more time. Now this time we'll put some something else. Let's let let me show you what. So I just change the description again, and then I'll give slash edge again. Hit enter. Debugging switched on. Now save. This time what I'll say I will ask my debugger at so breakpoint at statement. I want to stop at call customer. What does that mean? Call customer means uh, this this function is called whenever a user exit is available. So if I say stop my breakpoint at call customer, that means all the exits which are available in the T code ME22N, uh, in all those exits, my program should stop or debugger should stop. So what I'll do, I'll press F8 because I don't know where it will be. So but I want it to stop whenever call customer is reached. So I press F8 look here the call customer function was called so this is a user exit for com underscore tax so I don't know what is it okay this is in a standard uh, this is the standard program you still in the standard function it is a standard subroutine in that there is some user exit let's see if this user exit has been implemented if the user exit 001 has been implemented so in that case if you do f1 it will go inside it if it is not implemented it will do nothing it will just go to the next available line it will come here so what i'll do i'll try to go inside it and check if it is implemented or not so i do f5 bingo so i am inside a exit now what is the exit name look over here it is this z x f t u 01 so it starts with z that means this has to be a custom all right so let me show you in the t code uh, se 38 how it looks like so if you remember uh, in the earlier screen, the call customer function 001 was the function name. So actually that 001 is this one. And this is the, uh, is combined with this exit underscore program name and then 001. So this, uh, since I am an abapper and I have been working in user exit for long, I know that this is a function module. So the function overwritten over here. So if I copy this and go to SE 37 okay and give that value you will see that it is a function module and in this function module is this exit so Z X F Y so let me go back there look at here Z X F Y T U 01 is the same thing over here so in this function module this program is there which is being executed here so if I double click on this it takes me to the program and this is the so there is a macro here defined and then this is the first executable line where our code is right now so if you check here our debugger is in this place so how do you interpret it again so you were in this form look here item 38 in this form there was a user exit the user exit name is this and the user exit program where the code is written is this one okay so let's and I don't want to do uh, what happening here. I don't want to show what is happening. This is a custom uh, solution. So it will differ from uh, company to company. Your client might not be have implemented this, but our client has. So 
it will be different so the customer exit might be different but you can see that this is a custom code because it's written in a z okay now i press f8 now i want to see if there is any other customer exit available in that t code or not so let me do f8 bingo there is another call customer function 001 this is also 001 but this is a different form see this is in a different form the other one was in some other form and this is in this one so now i i don't know whether this this user exit had been implemented or not but i can always test it how i just do a f5 i do f5 or a single step oh yeah it took me again to inside it so look here this is again a z a different one and this is the user exit so let me go to this one now i'll go to se 37 and then try to give the name look it was also 001 but the other initials were different now i go to a display it takes me to zxfytu03 this is the same one zxfytu03 and then if i go and double click here you will see this bunch of codes right this is again a custom uh, logic so which might not be there in your system even the exit might not be implemented in your system if it is not needed so but it's always good to know now i want to come out of this exit what i'll do i'll hit press 7 or return right here i go i came out i came out of the exit now and then if you see here so you went to this form you are in this form and you came to this form from this function and through this function from this so these are the steps okay and you remember this circle this means that there has been an there was an enhancement in this form okay so if i click on this guy it will take me to the step so this is the enhancement so this is an enhancement spec section with a snail all right so if i do f5 again it will come back to the user exit let me execute it again continue so now it came back to the same user exit so that means that exit user exit being called in a loop all right if i do again f8 it takes to the next user exit same user exit, next user so it, it keeps on calling in a loop so it might be good to for you that it's there in a loop and you might put your logic all right so let me come out of the or uh, how do i see what are the breakpoints i have attached so this is the breakpoint and it's the dynamic breakpoint which is at a call customer now i want to delete it all right delete the exit and save it now i want to come out of my system now i'll hit edit or save Okay. you're done so you are able to save a data